welcome back to my channel let me show you how to make the best steamed fish with spinach dumplings here i have my fish already well seasoned and i'll show you guys how i did it in just a minute i also have some ground provisions here some russet potatoes sweet potatoes and edo root i also have pumpkin carrots some seafood stock as well as uh, some okra and coconut milk i have some thyme habanero peppers bell peppers uh, onions garlic some parsley green onions i'll be using some complete seasoning all-purpose seasoning bouillon and black pepper so today i'll be using one four pong rock fish i got the guy to clean it up and slice it up for me and i washed it with lemon juice here i'll be using some old bay fish seasoning black pepper and fresh green seasoning the first thing you want to do is combine all of the seasonings mix well and this will be used as our marinade for that fish then we will generously coat the fish with the marinade you know the usual if you watch me you know this is basically what i do with everything so we'll make sure that that fish is nicely seasoned and then we'll allow it to rest for about 30 minutes to an hour Now let me show you how I made the dumplings. I have some all-purpose flour here. To that I will add some baking powder, some sugar and salt. I like my dumplings a bit on the sweet side, but feel free to make your dumplings the way that you like. Next, I will add some chopped spinach. I chop it real fine with my little chop, you know, little processor thing that I have. And we will add that to the flour, mix it in, and then we'll go in with some warm water and we'll mix until we form a nice soft dough. We'll allow the dough to rest for about, let's say, 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll proceed to the next step. So a preheated skillet I did add some oil and now we'll go in with our aromatics. We'll mix well and allow it to go for about 3-4 to four minutes. Next we'll add our pumpkin, carrots and our ground provisions. We'll also add the seafood stock and coconut milk. Now you can use water here in place of seafood stock. But I'm using the seafood stock because I had it left over from when I made my um, crab oil. So I'm just using what I had left over. And we will also add our seasoning here to add flavor and taste to the dish. You want to taste it and make sure that it suits your own liking. We'll add our thyme, habanero peppers, cover and allow these to cook until everything is nice and tender. So now we're going to add our fish in here and I didn't realize that I had a lot of fish so I just put aside a few pieces for next time. I won't be using all of it. Once we add our fish in, we will go in with our okra. You don't want the okra to become mushy. That's why I didn't add it in before. I'm going to add it now so it can steam. Then we will cover this and allow it to simmer on medium to low heat for about 8 to 10 minutes. You know fish don't take long to cook and halfway through the process you can flip it if you want to but it should cook perfectly fine just the way it is after about 10 minutes this is what we have here we will garnish with our fresh parsley and green onions and that's it guys the steam fish is done we'll turn the heat off and set aside Thank you. 
Now let's cook our dumplings to a pot of boiling water. I will now add the dumplings in there. You can form them in any shape and size that you like. And we will cook them for about eight to 10 minutes. Once eight minutes is up, it should be perfectly done. And this is what they look like. We will now remove them and we will get ready to plate up. And here you have it, my version of steamed fish and spinach dumplings. The meal was absolutely healthy, delicious, and amazing. I could not get past the dumplings. It was so delicious, like melting in your mouth. They were soft, tender, and it was absolutely amazing. I hope you all give this recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment down below. Also, hit the subscribe button for me and check out my Amazon storefront. The link will be in the description box. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching and enjoy.